Tomo to Alaska. If anyone's listening, stay safe. A melting Alaskan glacier may set off a landslide and trigger a tsunami in Prince William Sound, according to a public letter by climate scientists and geologists at institutions including the University of Alaska, the Ohio State University, and the University of British Columbia. This event could happen as soon as next year and no later than 20 years from now, they say. The researchers say the Barry Glacier's retreat inland could send its scarp tumbling down the Barry Arm. A complete failure of the scarp will cause a destructive tsunami to crash down Barry Arm and Harriman Fjord, while partially endangering Port Wells. If the scarp fails completely, it would raise waves as high as 1,000 feet, which would threaten fishing boats and the hundreds of fishermen and tourists who frequent the region. Even locations far from the Barry Glacier may experience 30-foot-tall waves. According to the letter, climate change is melting Barry Glacier, and the retreating ice has left a swath of the cliff unsupported by its mass. The loose scarp then entered into a slow-motion landslide that is now showing signs of speeding up. As well as you know, global warming is increasingly recognized as an existential threat to human civilization. However, global warming would also lead to weird local effects, like making winters even colder in the Midwest. Almost two months after the beginning of spring, record-breaking winter weather returned to America with a vengeance. With New York City seeing traces of snow on May 9th, tying a record for the city's latest snowfall. Blame the polar vortex. The polar vortex dumped snow and cold Arctic air on parts of the Northeast United States and Canada over Mother's Day weekend. The polar vortex is a band of low-pressure Arctic air normally centered around the North Pole. It is located in the middle and upper tropospheres and extends into the stratosphere. The polar vortex is usually held in place by a current called the jet stream. Disturbances in the jet stream can push frigid, wintry air to parts of Canada and the U.S., while high-pressure systems of warmer air bulge northwards elsewhere. On Mother's Day weekend, the wobbly polar vortex dumped freezing temperatures on parts of the Midwest and eastern U.S., with springtime snow falling in parts of New York and New Jersey. Reducing carbon emissions is an important step toward reigning in global climate warming. While the pandemic has wrecked with lives and economies around the world, the virus did do us one small favor, cutting carbon emissions across the board. As the world battles with China's latest gift to humanity, levels of pollutants in the air over many cities have dropped as the Xi Jinping virus affects work and travel. BBC reports that researchers in New York say carbon monoxide, primarily from cars, has been reduced by almost 50% compared to last year. Carbon dioxide emissions have also taken a sharp dive. As economies around the world are feeling the effects of the poo virus, emissions of a whole bunch of nasty gases that come with energy and transportation have dramatically been reduced. According to scientists, CO2 emissions are at their highest in May due to decomposing leaves. The levels recorded could be the lowest we've seen since the global subprime mortgage crisis over a decade ago. Columbia University researchers said that in the Big Apple alone, traffic levels were down 33% compared to a year ago. The enormous levels of carbon monoxide spewed out from cars and trucks fell around 50% for a few days last week. According to the Beebs, they also found a 5-10% to drop in CO2 over New York and a big drop in methane too. Similar drops in pollutants were also found in China and Italy. Unfortunately, once the world gets over this China cough 19 thing, most countries are going to focus on getting their economies going again at all costs, regardless of the impact on the environment. Fantastic. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.